We must guard and protect the laws of the land jealously. And this is why. Hii ni Super Sunday kama kama ni super na kuchambua vitu mbili tatu za Biblos ndani ya Buddha Boss Live. Na hapa mzee jo tunaangalia zile story mzee ni muhimu tutupe attention to kutujenga spiritually, kutubreak to uh, sensitivity to the things that affect our lives as believers. So leo nataka mzee jo tuangalie story interesting sana kwa the book of Daniel mtiangu ni niki relate to some of the things that may happen uh, here in our country and why we need to be alert to some degree concerning the things that may hear as may happen in the land okay now when we go through to the texts of daniel a very interesting revelation will come to mind so daniel of course say so at this point uh, babylon was the superpower of the day okay babylon in normal king Nebuchadnezzar ametesa Babylon ina control the whole world right so Babylon ime come wame attack Israel God ame hand over the king of Judah into the hands of king Nebuchadnezzar uh, kina Daniel wamekuwa brought into captivity in Babylon sawa so, uh, of course king of Shepherd a decree ni aje selectini a few men Eh, from me jeshi ya Israel watu wazeni wa sharp wako na aptitude ya kulearn handsome Aje, watu wakai hivi hivi tu watu mzee jo wako na knowledge ya vitu more but mzee wanaweza kwa brought into the king service so kina Shadrach Meshach Abednego Danieli wamechukuliwa part of one of the wamechukuliwa kama wamepigwa training miaka tatu kulearn the language and the literature of the people of Babylon au sio then we come going into the service. So mazejo hata okay kwa hii training ya 3 years. Eh well, King Ashasa inazima watu wapatiwe food fulani, wapatiwe ma wine kutoka hapo hivyo ndio mazokwe mwili iko sawa. Wakwe presented at the end of the 3 years before the king. Ah Daniel na jeshi yake imedaisia tuwezi to file mti yangu. Ro safi. Wamende to some deal tupigeni test. Wacha tukule mboga mti yangu. Eh wacha tukule vitu vitu tofauti tuone kama hatutakaa better. Ta 10 days eh hey, mazejo wenyewe nyinyi mko sawa. Uo jamaa akasema sawa nyinyi mtakuwa mna dish food yenu separate from ile inatoka kwa the king's table. Food yenu separate from ile inatoka from the king's table. Au sio? So of course. Ume come Daniel ame amekuwa brought in wamepigwa ma interview and to three yeah na Shadrach Meshach and Abednego wamepatikana mazao kwa above the rest maze. Ten times wiser. God aliwapatia wisdom, God akawapa understanding and to Daniel God akampatia ability ya ku interpret visions and dreams. Si ndio? So ume come King akapata dream imemsumbua. Imemsumbua mazee. Ameona mazee statue fulani ajab. Iko na kichwa ya gold, Bre, chest mazee na arms ni za silver. Mazee belly na na, na mapaja mti yangu ni bronze and then miguu ni za iron. Then chini mazee feet. Tunaongea about mazee mix ya clay na iron imemsumbua karoka mekam kamepiga hiyo 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 miguu mazee kitu imekuwa shattered. Then rock imekuwa big kama mountain. Ah nataka mazee do interpretation. Daniel aka come through. Watu kikamp kwa chapter 3. King Nabukadnezar amepata wisdom yake, aka decide ni aje. Ah. Anaweza tengeneza an image of gold. Big. Initakuwa worshipped. Now by this time because of favor Daniel will get Daniel will negotiate for my best work aka ambia, ah ni aje ni putina good word. Niko na best wangu hapa Shadrach Meshach and Abednego. So unaweza wa waingiza mahali kama officials ah very fast Shadrach Meshach Abednego wakapatiwa place ya kuupa ya ku serve eh, in charge of provinces mahali si ndio so mingia ndani all this time our the auto shadow jamaa na kwa gani mse no so god wana worship in a particular way wana pray in a particular way washa prove god wao ni nani Daniel ame prove in a big way Jehovah the Lord God almighty unjua ni mkodi kitu clear our the wana worship other gods Hawa dio ni kwa astrologers. Wana, wana, wana believe in the worship of vitu za ajabu, sun, moon, etc. Unajua? Uko na other gods already lakini mzee mpaka king mwenyewe anasema god wako mzee ndio god wa ama god wengine. Wewe god ni mtu. Aka set image. Then tuna come kwa chapter 3. Amegather. Watu wanaweza verse 2 nasema so the satraps 
prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials assembled for the dedication of the image that the King Nebuchadnezzar had set up, and they stood before it. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, This is what you are commanded to do, O peoples, nations, and men of every language. As soon as you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipes, and all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. As an aside, eh, please notice the connection here, music and worship. Mukiskiam mziki, you must bow and worship. As an aside too, let's be clear that mziki tunaskiza, in one or the other, will cause us to bow and worship something, somewhere, somehow. You need an aside too. As you proceed, eh, whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. Now, king alikuwa ki proclaim kitu, it is law. The moment I may sema, in itself imekuwa sheria whether ilikuwa ina exist or not whether ilikuwa written or not ameamka me speak akasema this is what everyone must do at that moment it has become law uki contravene the law in a common consequence yake na hapa consequence ni punishment by death in the furnace una chomwa roho safi king ame decree then to come up hivi mbele kidogo Kikoma from verse 10, my officials plan my astrologer me ona hey 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 Shadrach Meshach Abednego mti wangu ni tukona apa eh mziki kipigwa wa bow wa mekuara wa mekimbia kwa king wana mshoevi you have issued a decree O king that everyone who hears the sound of the horn flute zither lyre harp pipes and all kinds of music must fall down and worship the image of gold. And that whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into a blazing furnace. But there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who pay no attention to you, O king. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. King akan shikanar aka jam Bible says he was furious Mitieni hapa dia hapa very fast kujeni hapa what mimi king na pena decree mnafanya vitu zenu kujeni hapa oya fanya nini hivi eh takuwa gracious kidogo labda kama mtasema sasa hivi mtabao ndawaachilia lakini mki mtabao Hey, Jeshi mazee menyenyekee kaambiani aje. King Nebuchadnezzar, yenyewe eh hatuna ubaya. Eh lakini hatuwezi bow to God wako. God mwenye tunasaa. By the way unajua anaweza ka to deliver from your hand, anaweza ka to deliver from that fire. Lakini even if as it to deliver, hatu bow. Wa King Nebuchadnezzar kashika nare zaidi. Akasema in fact, your furnace seven times hotter. Akatafuta maze, my bodyguard wa mezuri, wa me, wa me zengi vizuri. Fungeni ya watu, warusheni. Ndio moto ilikuwa noma. Hapa ndio kenda kuwapeleka kwa moto. Wao wenyewe wakabana. Jamaa akarushwa ndani. Eh hey, kidogo kidogo, akurudi malap. Eh hey, king anaangalia na changa boss. Hapa ndani. <laughs> Atakuwa na watu watatu. How comes on take watu wanne? Kaenda maze akaitawa the Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego tokeni hapo ndani kujeni hapo. Eh hey, mali fana sana fungulio nini wakatoka wakiwa cheki hawajabani nguo zao zashika moto nywele hata nywele eh hey, haija cringe hata kidogo jia hit alafu hawana tarufu ya moshi katikia hadhi ya kasema mazejo hakuna god mwingine kama god wenu huo ndio god tunafaa tu worship but ile lesson ile ni hit kwa history yote ni the worship ya kina Shadrach Meshach Abednego ilikuwa known from before. Ilikuwa known on a server to God. Number one is a Jews God wao wanajulikana. Wamekama hapo wakiwa hapo wameji display in a particular way. Walikuwa wanajua hakukuwa na ngori yote major until the decree was made. When it became law, 
that if you do not bow then there is consequence kulikuwa na reason ya kuingiza Shadrack Meshach Abednego kwa ngori but wakateka stand watamu wacha ninaombea hivi any moment kuna sheria imekuwa introduced over the land na hiyo sheria ina go against our principles and beliefs as believers what we stand for hiyo sheria itakuja kutuuma what can explain juzi juzi courts zimekatini zikamua by the way mahomo wanaweza go about ku register the organization not the words Tumeanalyze this story and without kutuambia vitu mingi tunasema it is their right kukuwa homosexuals. Okay? Now wewe unaweza kaa chini ujulize. Na mbona lazima uende kwa court? Now the moment it becomes law, the moment it becomes ratified by law or a justice system. Now all of a sudden wewe kama believer umeanikwa. How? Utapata kwa situation jamaa amekam amekuja kufanya tu zake za uhomo umemwambia mzee Jozi mimi kama job yangu siwezi andika mtukao wewe unakaa kufanya hizi vitu kwa ofisi yangu zi huo jamaa ataishia akufunge na the same law atakuja sema oh discrimination oh sijui nini utakuja uambie niaje unachukua huo jamaa back kwa ofisi hapo mchukui ukikwara ndani kuna watu nimesikia ma story US. Kuna watu kuna survival ni kwa msikia US kama msikia girl story. Yenye jama fulani wamekam. Two gay uh, men wamekam ati wanataka kufanya harusi, wanataka wabekiwe keki na hii hii kampuni. Wakakuwa na kasema mzee sisi mzee faith yetu haiwezi. Tumeiva kube keki lakini hatuwezi fanya nini? Hatuwezi wabekia keki ya mahomo then tuweke symbols mbili na machali hapo. Haiwezi make. Ah Jamaa mtandao wapi activists sijui ma NGO nini kelele makarao wako ingizo wa ngori jua mekata hawezi bek keki ya mahomo kuonyesha simbo za machalio ile tutaenda kumari wamesema sisi kulingana na faith yetu hatuwezi do buda places za kwenda kubai keki zimejaidi unajuliza mbona wangeenda kwa place nyingine wamekama hapa hata ukiambiwa zi mbona kukama hapa kuna zile vitu utakuonekewa mtego because imekuwa sheria and that is why watu wa Mungu lazima tukue rada ni laws gani zinapasiwa in the land of Kenya the moment imekuwa sheria ile tumekuwa ukibondi ukisema z about awezi zungumza jamaa anataka kia billboard hapa hivi ya queen influence watu wako kuambia ni sawa mzee mkijaribu ku try chali na chali au dem na dem ujaribu kuzusha about tuambie buda discrimination hashtag na usisahau kama kuna kitu wako nayo ni pesa. Wako na pesa ku the best lawyers the world can offer. Wako na pesa ku push whatever agenda. Wako na pesa kupiga kelele mtandao. Wako na pesa kukuanika. Wako na pesa kuku brand. Wako na pesa kuku accuse. Wako na pesa mazee kufanya ukaeweni the worst thing ever. Kama wewe ni lawyer. Kama wewe ni magistrate. Kama wewe ni msiako within the justice system. Or wewe ni msiako uko parliament mali wana pass laws. Ama wewe ni msiako uko in a constitutional body mahali. Or wewe uko in the senate mali pia wako na the ability and the rights za ku pass laws and to propose policies. Mti yangu na wewe ni believe acha nikwambie ukweli uko na a higher responsibility than just works. Wewe ndio watchdog yetu in those circles. We have to be extremely alert. Na sheria gani zinakuwa passed in the land. And we come out to oppose, to challenge, to push against. Otherwise mti yangu kuna vitu tukialao kisheria. Then to rest assured mimi na wewe kuna time ita come to have to choose between to bear personal pain and burden or to neglect our faith and stand that we have in your moment it will come if we are not careful at the laws we allow to be passed that is why mimi naendelea kusema jo 
my advocates church nanu watu wanaweza push story to arise to challenge your decision wakienda kwa the highest court in the land na bado wangeweza kuna greater power that ina come in it the constitution in your time church tunaamka tunasema ama police mnataka referendum eh hey, sisi kama church we have a position and our position is this you must meet the bare minimum ama you forget we use the influence of our congregation to make a statement ikwe in the constitution kenya atutambui homosexuality tafakari at Freddy Budabos like follow share subscribe kama king tuzungumziane au sio baraka men <laughs> eh yeah.